Problems with blue-green algae continues tonight in that list of lakes with that dangerous bacteria is so it's getting longer. Two News reporter Asia Vickers has more on where swimmers need to avoid. We've got a uh, actually a double whammy thrown at us. We have two major blooms. You now see these signs posted in certain areas of Keystone Lake. By now, people are very aware of the dangerous bacteria. Don't swim in the blue algae. I mean, I have four children, and it is a little concerning. The warnings aren't enough to keep some people out of the water. We're really urging people not to go near it, not to get, don't stick their toe in it, because it's liable to get rash on it. Uh, we also suggest do not drink the water. Uh, don't let a pet near the water. Testing is being done in parts of the lake near Manford in Cleveland. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers say the bacteria has already been found in Grand in Fort Gibson. Ten killers being watched closely. Officials say they're not sure how bad the situation is at Keystone just yet, but the heat is creating the right conditions for the algae to get worse. Algae like this are prevalent in the lake all the time, but it's not until you get you know, heat like this uh, where water slows down and uh, becomes somewhat stagnant that and maybe get a load of. Uh, of some kind of nutrient, by then they come out. While the lake looked clear at this location in Manford, authorities say visitors should stay away from stagnant, foamy, or discolored water. If they feel they've come in contact with algae, scrub with clean water and soap. The advisory will be in place until the blooms go away. For some, it's not enough to keep them out of Keystone. Because my kids love the water. <laughs> Asia Vickers, 2 News works for you. No areas at Keystone have been closed just yet. Officials say they hope to get the test results back early sometime next week.